Hello my beautiful students, P1 champions, I guess you are doing well, you are preparing well for your examination, your FA2 examination is knocking your door, right? So in this particular case, in this vital moment, I am here to help you out to take your preparation in the next level. I am here to give you a question that are you can say a kind of fixed question that you can expect in your examination and undoubtedly you are going to get 30 plus marks without even going through entire NCRT. Yes, so let's get started. So here I am going to cover uh, three chapter first is equilibrium second is redox and third one is hydrocarbon. I'm going to give some fixed question and definitely some detailed explanation video of the MCQ of the numerical based questions are also there uh, in a long video. Please make sure that after going through this, go to that long video to watch the full solution. Yes, so let's get started. So first we will proceed with the equilibrium. Here you can see here comes few uh, Fixed question, yes, 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 guys, take screenshot, pause your screen and take screenshot of these questions. And most importantly, uh, just let me tell you the zone from where the board people actually target or normally your college uh, targets that particular zone to give you the question. First, whenever you are dealing with the equilibrium, please proceed with the Le Chatelier principle. Okay, the Le Chatelier principle is one of the question that comes directly. You can see I already gave here this one you can get a direct question out of it and the effect of pressure temperature volume addition of inert gas any one of the effect you can expect sometimes you can get the question like this okay uh, in the main video i explained it in well and detail how you should approach this type of question okay next if you just proceed uh, a little bit towards the ionic equilibrium portion in ionic equilibrium portion you can expect the conjugate acid base pair uh, definition along with the example there you can expect henderson hasselbalch equation related problem there also you can expect the solubility related numerical and uh, common ion effect, one of the most important thing. And one more thing from the chemical equilibrium, I wanted to tell that KPKC relation derivation, sometimes it comes and uh, you can also focus on the how equilibrium constant, it helps to predict the extent of reaction. Along with that, you must study the equilibrium uh, quotient, okay, the reaction quotient. Okay, so this particular portion, if you cover, your equilibrium will be shorted and the numerical best problem uh, you can watch in the full video. Okay, I guess you had an overall idea about it. Let's proceed further. Here comes redox. Redox is a very small chapter and very selective part from that chapter will come in your examination. Uh, most importantly, you have to balance one re reaction. You have to learn balancing in the both acidic and basic medium. So this particular example, it's one of the most common example that uh, usually they give in the examination. And I did the detail video on this how to balance it in the solution part and and you can see the oxidation number calculation of anything like CrO5, K2Cr207, MnO4 this type of compound you can expect and you have to find out the oxidation number of the marked uh, element right and stock notation stock notation is nothing but finding the oxidation state of the metal and then you are writing that oxidation state within a bracket just beside the metal okay so these examples can be various and there should not be like uh, anything specific that these example will only come you need to learn the method how you should proceed so if you learned this much it will be more than enough okay let's proceed towards the next hydrocarbons chapter. So hydrocarbons chapter, you can see some direct question that you can expect, for, expect from this chapter that is the Wood's reaction, Cole's electrolysis reaction, then chlorination in uh, alkane, okay? That is a uh, chlorination in methane, you can see like three steps. It has like initiation, propagation, termination, three steps. It's a three marker question, okay? Now, Markovnikov, anti-Markovnikov rule. Uh, Markovnikov rule, usually it comes, they 
directly asked to state Markovnikov rule and with an example, right? So that particular thing you should do. And some another question you can see aromatization of n hexane, pyrolysis. This direct question you can expect out of it. Okay, so these are the question you can see. And in alkene, if you just precisely ask, it's about the Lindler's catalyst hydrogenation, dehydrohalogenation. Dehydrohalogenation you can expect out of the alkene chapters. So, and oxidation reduction, okay, there are some reagent based oxidation and uh, reduction like uh, alcoholic amino 4. You can, uh, like, uh, they can give the conversion utilizing the Ulf's Kirchner reagent, the Clementian reduction, okay, just remember the reagents. And these are some uh, fixed question that directly comes there you don't need to think like how you should proceed with the answer directly if you remember you can just write it out okay so few more questions are definitely there along with these answers some mcq problems are there please make sure that you are watching the long video so again we will come back with a next exciting video for the pu1 it will be as informative as this one okay so please stay tuned keep liking subscribing and sharing our channel to get such a more informative videos thank you so much